What's up YouTube? It's Casual Yugi Stuff here today, bringing you guys another Yu-Gi-Oh! Mail Day video. Today I have three parcels, one is a box and two are parcels, should I say. And uh, yeah, we've been, one of these is a trade, one of these I am um, receiving uh, for another good friend of mine who is looking to get something graded, as well as a box of um, Yu-Gi-Oh! minifigures or Yu-Gi-Oh! sculptures, Yu-Gi-Oh! collectibles. So make sure if, you're if that sounds um, interesting to you, you can stay around and enjoy this video. Also, I wanted to choose my beautiful custom-made playmat of the Sino Dragons of Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds. I think this is a really, really good camera viewpoint. Let me just sort of move it a little tweak to the left. There we go. We can see Red Dragon, Archfiend, Stardust Dragon, Ancient Fairy Dragon, Black Rose Dragon, Black Wing Dragon, and Power Tool Dragon, all looking very proud uh, to be in this video. So guys, if you enjoy this, smash that thumbs up video if you want to see more of these cool mail days, as well as subscribe if you're new to the channel. Without further ado, everybody, let's get cracking with our first piece of mail. This piece of mail is from Space Cards, who has sent it to me on behalf of a good friend of mine who I've met on Instagram, who is looking to get the contents inside here graded. And as we can see, here it is, without me ripping the actual <laughs> contents inside. Let's see what we've got here today, guys. Have I got my knife? I do indeed. I don't want to damage the contents as I've just previously mentioned, guys. So here we go. Yeah, this is a blister pack, as you can probably tell by the pinkish sort of red colour. For those of you who know GX and know this colour very well, you will know that this belongs to the Strike of Neos. That's a beautiful blister pack which Space Cars has sent me on behalf of my friend who I'm helping him grade the pack. So I have to open this, take the pack out and send it off to PSA to be graded for him. So thank you very much Space Cars and I will let my friend know that this has arrived safely and soundly. Moving on to the next piece of mail we have this which has been sent from USPS uh, from the US United States Postal Service. That's what USPS stands for guys. And in here, very much like our Strike of Neos blister, this was a trade I did, uh, a blister pack trade. So there should be, I believe, three uh, blister packs in here, um, which I needed for my collection. So I met this guy on Instagram who also collects blister packs like I do, and we got to talking, and he really needed a couple of blisters that I owned, and he showed me what he had in his collection, and I also needed a couple from him, so we thought it would be best to, you know, trade. Um, which involves a lot of trust, as I mentioned before on the, tra on the channel. To trust someone in a trade, you first need to send yours. Uh, one of the parties, or one of the traders needs to send their stuff first, or you know, you can agree to send on the same time, but usually you wanna have maximum trust in these trades, guys. So anyway, we open it up here, and uh, that is what we have. In our trade, we have blister packs. I am baffled to see a cyber dark impact blister pack. Oh my goodness. I was not expecting this. This has been included as a freebie, I, I, I think. How, how can I not know this? Um, hold on a second. Cyber dark impact, crossroads of chaos, which is gorgeous. Extreme Victory, which is impossible to find. And also a Hidden Arsenal. If we hang on for a second, I believe the trade was three for three. And I mentioned before I opened it, it was three for three blister packs, didn't I? So what that means is these three were the trade, but this type of dark impact has been sent to me by Magic162777 on Instagram. I'm not sure, but his name is Magic. I'll link his Instagram in the description below. Um, but he goes by the name Philip, uh, which I have to say, Philip, thank you so much for sending me this Cyberdark Impact Blister Pack. Just because of the fact that I've been after this for an eternity. It's very rare to find. And the fact that you've sent this to me free of charge, um, which is out of your own goodwill, is very much thank you to you. So really, really appreciate that. Um, just goes to show, guys, if you show a bit of trust in somebody, you never know what you can get out of it. Not only a fantastic trade, but also a really good, something which you've been looking for for an eternity, and he knows I've been looking for them. So thank you so much, uh, Philip and Dean. I'll make sure to send you the link to this video once it's uploaded on YouTube. On the Casual Yugi Stuff channel, guys. 
So anyway, we will stack up our beautiful blisters which we got. Again, thank you Mr. Magic on Instagram and um, yeah, thank you. Really, really appreciate those. So here we go with our final piece of mail. It's this box. It's the return address. I already opened it just to quickly see what's inside. I wanted to show you guys what a cool purchase this was. As you can see, Yu-Gi-Oh product. Of course, so what else? And the first one is quite heavy summoned skull Yu-Gi-Oh Totaku sculpture. This is a really detailed sculpture, really awesome. Uh, it comes in a very thick plastic uh, number 22. Um, really cool sculpture. And on the back it explains Summon Skull. So monster profile, name Summon Skull. Duelist who uses this monster. Who does it belong to? Yami Yugi. About, with its green glowing eyes, large wings and wicked horns, this powerful monster will strike terror into the hearts of your opponents. So yeah, a story. Uh, yeah, really, really awesome. Uh, profile. So this was a, I believe it's French, Can Invoqué. That's the French name for Summon Skull. And that's the, uh, yeah, it says in French and in German. So Tokatu, it's a, you know, I presume Japanese. Um, and this is number 22 of the, of the collection series. So Summon Skull looking gorgeous there, sealed. Really nice collection piece for me. Um, I will be keeping this sealed. And yeah, once my display cabinet um, arrives, I will be displaying this in my collection. Then... Last but not, me, but not least, we have our Blue Eyes White Dragon. Look at the gorgeous detail on this little sculpture, guys. Absolutely incredible. Really, really nice. Um, number 19 of uh, the collection. So that's the Blue Eyes White Dragon there. And I like how some of the skulls there as well. And here's a uh, gorgeous card. Well, uh, in the, obviously in the Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> but also um, in the sculpture, it looks fantastic. First edition, guys, <laughs> with the cool hieroglyphics here. Egyptian hieroglyphics. Monster profile, blue eyes, white dragon. Who does this monster belong to? Seto Kaiba, who else? About, this monster attacks with an incredible power, along with uncontrollable ferocity and aggressive dragon strikes. And aggressive dragon strikes, there you go. Story, yeah, really cool. Dragon blanc aux yeux bleus. And blau guiga white draka. So that's beautiful guys, that's really, really cool really really big fan of these and I'll have to hunt down the others because I really want to have as many of these as possible and they're really nice collector's pieces actually and um, I'll definitely be sure to hunt the rest of the numbers out I wonder what number 20 21 are because we've got 22 and 19 so that is it guys for the video we've got a blister for a good friend of ours four blisters in a fantastic trade and two Yu-Gi-Oh minifigures or sculptures so that's really, really good. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Remember, if you enjoy this video, smash that thumbs up button. Much appreciated. Uh, it goes a long way, seeing that uh, you guys are liking my videos and actually enjoying the content I'm producing out for you. So yeah, and also feel free to subscribe if you are so kind-hearted. And also switch on that bell notifications button so that you don't miss one of my videos when I release it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. This has been Kaoju Yugi Stuff. As always, I'll catch you in the next video. Comment down below if you want, and I will make sure to reply within as soon as possible, basically. So thank you so much, guys. I'll catch you all very soon. Hope you're having a great day. <laughs>